days, man. Bro, as y'all can see by the title, as y'all can see by the title, man. Yo boy, I, yo boy, yo boy is back, man. Look, bro. Look, bro. Y'all know I had to make this video today. I had, I had to, bro. I gotta talk to my niggas today, bro. Hold on. Now, last time y'all saw me on the video, I best will let y'all know I had COVID. Now, in that video, I told y'all that I was already. I hadn't had it for like probably a week before I even made that bid. I had it for six, seven days already before I even put it out. So I was already quarantining, taking my meds, doing everything I can before I even got my results back. Now when I finally got my results back, that's when uh, I put the news out and bro, we back. I can breathe, baby. I can. I can breathe. And my breath not stink. You did. But look, man. Hey, I, I, I'm making this bid strictly for my for my real fans, bro. This ain't for some the some timers. This is for my real fans right here, bro. Now look, I got a short little story time for y'all. So it, it's it's not gonna be long at all, but it's effective. It, it, it's going to get the job done for Motivational Mondays. Now, like I told y'all, I've been stuck in one room for like the past 11 days. It's been 11 days. I've been stuck in a room for 11 days. Not when I put the bed out, no. Because I know some of y'all going to be like, bro, you just put the bed out four days ago. No, bro, I was, I've been sick way before that bed. But look, I've been stuck in one room for 11 days. And when you st literally stuck in one room, bro, it feels like you're in prison, bro. Like, it, it literally feels like you're in prison. Now, for like a whole week, I didn't even have my PlayStation 5 in there with me. Then I was like, man, I got to put a fucking game in here. I'm finna go crazy in here. But, bro, with that 11 days, I had nothing but time to think, bro. Nothing but time to think. And it was a bad thing at first. Because I was in there depressed and all types of shit. Depression is real, bro. Especially when a lot of shit going on and you sick and you can't do nothing about it. Me, my whole family come to me for their problems. Or about their problems or to solve their problems. They come to me. So when I was... On my ass, like, I ain't really had nobody to go to. So I was in that bitch talking to myself. Like, real talk. Bro, like, it's like I got closer to God. Way closer to God while I was in that room, bro. Like, like I told y'all in the other bit, first couple, three, four days, I couldn't, I couldn't breathe, bro. I, like, when I, when I tell y'all I couldn't breathe, I really could not breathe. I can't do this right here. I, I literally couldn't do that. Every time I would try to do that, I would buy, I, I'd be about to cough my lungs up. Every single time. Now, like I said, man, it got to the point where when I wake up every day, like I just thank God for just waking me up. This is how bad it got in that room, y'all. Now, like I said, Every day I woke up, I was just thankful. I was happy as shit. Like it was, it's, it's that simple. Like I, I open my eyes, I see I'm woke. I'm thanking God. I'm happy as shit because while I'm in that room, I'm getting all kind of outside news. And what I mean by outside news is when I first went into quarantine, my fiance JoJo, her dad passed away. From cancer. So that started, that's what started everything, bro. When he passed away, and I couldn't really be there for her like I wanted to, because I couldn't be I couldn't be around her. Like I I, I had to stay away from her. 
Like I had to stay in the room and she had to deal with that on her own. I'm all she got. So she had to deal with her dad passing on her own. And she one of the strongest women I know for that, bruh. Like, much as I wanted to be with her, I didn't want to put her in danger to get COVID, her or King. So I couldn't go to the funeral. I couldn't comfort her. Like, I couldn't do nothing. So a lot of people was asking me why I was putting it on Twitter, like talking to her through Twitter, because I had to. I couldn't come out the room to talk to her, so I know she would see it on Twitter. So I was trying to help her in that way. Then, while I got COVID now, my grandma calling me, telling me about people at the church dying from COVID. Like, like what kind of mumble grandma are you? Why are you telling me this? <laughs> like, I don't want to hear that, grandma. I know you watching this video. I, you, you made me paranoid, grandma. Like, you didn't make it no better. And then the last thing to top it off. Now, this just happened like uh, three days ago. Now, I'm almost done quarantining. I got three days left. Now, two of my family members, like, uh, one of them is my god brother. Other one is my cousin. Passed away out the blue for no reason in their sleep. No health problems, no COVID, no nothing. No type of sickness, nothing, bro. Young passed away in their sleep. Both of them in their sleep. So imagine how that made me feel, me waking up the first week because I couldn't breathe. That's making me paranoid as hell. Like, I'm like, yo. Like, what, what is going on? Why, why am I getting all this bad news while I'm sick, bruh? Now, now this is what happened to me in the room. This is what the whole video is about right here. This part right here. If you made it this far in the video, put that toe before you comment. Now, look. Now, I told y'all every time I woke up, I thank God because I woke up. But every day I woke up, my blinds was open. Now, I'm of course, I'm not opening the blinds because I'm just literally laying in the bed. And like when I get some energy, I get up and try to exercise. So I wasn't opening the blinds. But I got up every day to close them. So, of course, either King or JoJo was coming in there opening the blinds every day. But I'm looking at it like, bro, if you see me closing the blinds, why you keep opening the blinds? <laughs> like, what are you doing? Like, but, oh, uh, something caught my attention. Every, every time I got up to close those blinds, I look out the window like a normal person do. And I can see all my cars from that window. Like, every last one of them, all five of them. I can see all my cars. But across the street, I can see the neighbor's house and they got a big sign in their yard that say blessed. And it's literally right there in front of my window. As soon as you look out the window, you see the sign. It say blessed in their yard. And that's and that's what that's what it was. That's what it was. God sat me down. To let me have a look at my own life and realize, bro, you blessed. You blessed. Not reminding you, every, every day I'm getting up, I'm feeling better and better every day. Every day. I'm just feeling better every time I wake up. But that's what it was. That blessed sign caught my attention. And, and, I, and, I, and I realized what was my point of being locked in this room for 11 days. It wasn't just to beat COVID. It was for me to realize that. A lot of people don't know, I worry about my family so much. Like, what I can get, what I can give them. Like, I'm trying to give my family everything that I couldn't have. Plus myself. I'm trying to look out for myself too. But I worry so much about 
them that I, I didn't take the time out for like the past three, four years to realize like, shit, you blessed. It's that simple. That that sign in them people yard made me realize, like Shaq, you just gotta, you just gotta start living in the moment. You gotta just be happy about what you got and stop worrying about what you're trying to get or what you don't have. Just be happy about what you got, and that's what I learned, man. Like I'm not, I'm no longer worried about what I'm trying to get. I'm just focusing on what I got and. and, and and rocking with what I got. I ain't worried about no new friends. I got y'all. I ain't worried about no new money. I got money. Like, come on, man. Like, that's what it is. It's that simple, man. Sometimes God sits, make it that dramatic just to get your attention about something so small. He sat me in that room for 11 days straight. For me to just look at a sign and get it. I get it. I get it, man. Like, I'm just happy to be here, man. Like, real talk. I'm just happy to be here. A lot of people say it's a 99% chance you're going to uh, survive COVID. It wasn't about COVID for me, bro. I was worried about my health long term. A lot of people that had COVID still not right. I'm perfectly fine now. My symptoms went away after a week. I'm up lifting weights. Bro, who, who, who you know lifting weights with COVID? I went from not being able to breathe at all to lifting weights with COVID. If that ain't blessed, I don't know what it is. Bro, I just want to tell y'all that. Hopefully this video motivated y'all. Just keep going, bro. Even when you at your lowest, it's always light. It's always a better side to the situation, bro. I, I'm just thankful for you guys. Thankful for my family. Man, it been, it been a crazy experience having COVID, bro. But uh, hope y'all have a good rest of the day, man. Hope y'all watch the video all the way through. I'm gone, man.